The White House says President Trump is prepared to issue the first veto of his presidency if Democrats disapprove his national emergency declaration. Fox correspondent Ellison Barber has the latest. We have an invasion of drugs, invasion of gangs, invasion of people, and it's unacceptable. The president just lies whenever it suits him. I think the president has been very honest and transparent. President Trump declared a national emergency on Friday, bypassing Congress in order to build his proposed border wall. This is a deep intellectual problem that is plaguing this city. In addition to the $1.3 billion appropriated by Congress, the White House plans to move money from various federal agencies in order to secure roughly $8 billion to build upwards of 230 miles of barrier along the U.S.-Mexico border. Roughly $3.5 billion is expected to come from the Pentagon's military construction budget. Within hours of the president declaring a national emergency, a lawsuit was filed. More challenges are on the way from the ACLU to members of Congress. We're going to use every tool at our disposal to fight him. Republicans should have some dismay about the door that they are opening. House Democrats are planning to issue a disapproval resolution if it makes it to the president's desk. White House senior advisor Stephen Miller suggests that President Trump would issue his first veto of his term. Well, obviously the president is going to protect his national emergency declaration. Some Republicans, like Senator Ron Johnson or Florida's Senator Marco Rubio, say that they are concerned with this declaration as well, and they think it's possible the president is overstepping his authority. Others, like South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham, are sticking with President Trump. Reporting in Washington, I'm Ellison Barber, Fox News.